Hi, I'm Jacques Pépin, and I'm cooking at home. This is an old American classic, mac and cheese. Everyone loves mac and cheese. And I'm going to do a little bit of a white sauce here. I have a tablespoon and a half of butter, and I'm going to put a tablespoon and a half of flour in there, and a cup and a half of milk. So it's all one and a half, one and a half, one half cup of milk, and I have one and a half cup of dry macaroni here, which when I cook them, as you see, it's three cup, basically double. One and a half cup of macaroni, raw, it's about five ounces, five ounces of macaroni. Of course, you can do that with penne or with any of type of pasta, which is the same thing, you know. So here we go. The white sauce, one, uh, one and a half. Okay, mix your roux there. This is very simple to do. As soon as it's mixed like this, it's fine. Cup, cup and a half of milk. It'll come to a boil. Salt, pepper. I put a, about half a teaspoon of a paprika in there. What I'm going to do here, a three quarter of a cup of panko. I'm gonna put about how about a tablespoon at the most of olive oil in there? Otherwise, it tend to uh, it tend to uh, burn. And I'm going to put that in the oven. This is the crust to go on top. See, when you put a little bit of oil on top of it, it does not really get gooey. It just prevents the thing from burning and browning beautifully. So, I'm going to put that in the in the oven. About. We'll see five, eight minutes, 350 degrees or so. Do it boiling now. Now I'm going to add the cheese. Shut it off a little bit or very low so that it melts. And of course, conventionally, you mix your pasta, you put it in a gratin dish, you put the uh, you know, breadcrumb or whatever on top, and the whole thing eventually goes into the oven. I like to do it this way put my pasta here, and now I bring that to a boil. I pull it together a couple of minutes, season it, and I can serve it as I want, and I have the brown mixture from the oven that I put on top. Okay. Fortunately, today I have my granddaughter here, so she's gonna test whether it's okay or not. I'm gonna put a bit of paper on top of this. Doing it this way, of course, at the advantage of you can eat up one portion at the time if you want, when you need it, one or two portions. Okay. All right, so I have my panko beautifully brown here. I'm gonna put it in there. Yeah, well, that was five minutes. And in this, I'm gonna put like a good tablespoon of uh, Parmesan cheese, and I know it's not classic, but I put some chives in it. Okay, a couple of tablespoons of chives again from my garden. So that I have a beautiful crust on top of this. So, here it is. That's for my granddaughter, and with this on top. Like it was coming out of the gratin in the oven, as I said, if you do your pasta, put it in a gratin dish, put the mixture on top of it before it goes into the oven, it's another way of doing it. And this is it, my mac and cheese. Happy cooking. <laughs>